Hi everyone, thank you for coming again today. So I just want to thank you everyone for uh, just the beautiful comments that you've had about my table. So I'm just going to go really slow to show you uh, what it looks like today. I love when I'm working to be able to have my candles. And this is actually my dining table because my desk is a little bit too small. Uh, and this is my outlook, uh, my little courtyard. And I just love uh, having this view. So, um, so today I just wanted to talk about napkins. So I found these napkins uh, at half price and I just wanted to try it on book paper. So um, as you can see, uh, this, is one, this is one that I have actually tried. And can you see um, uh, the words coming through? Actually, the one that's clearer is this one. Can you see the words coming through? Because I haven't put the second layer on the other one. So the words coming through the napkin. And I just love that look. So you can actually use napkins to be able to build your background. So I just wanted to show you on this one. I'm going to put, so I have put a layer of glue uh, at the bottom. And I'm going to uh, put another layer of glue at the top. Now while you're working on um, napkins, um, I wanted to show you there's actually two layers. So I'm just going to put a layer of glue first and I'll show you how it's got two layers. So you're just going to brush through, right through and cover the entire as you can see this part here is starting to be more translucent than this part here the words are coming through um, and the glue that I've used is just an Elmer glue which is a cool glue and I've diluted it with a little bit of water now I can't actually remember the portions uh, I'm going to actually just live, um, put it on the um, uh, the link below and you will have that. So if you can see now as I brush that through, can you see how there's a difference? This you can see more of the words and this less. And I've done all of it and as you can see, it's coming through and of course uh, we need to let it dry and once it's dry you can actually use this as, as a background page and this is just a small book page that I've used so you can cut your uh, napkin to size I'll show you now the two layers so this is another one that I purchased and as you open up your tissue you'll be able to find that there is two layers. Now, if you glue the entire two layers together without separating them onto the book page, what will happen is the top layer will come, will, will not stick properly. And then you'll have it coming out and coming apart. So you have to take this back layer off like that and you are only using this layer so I'm going to show you I'm not going to show you on that one but I'm going to show you on this one because I'm using a different kind of page and uh, this is a book that I found from the op shop it's actually the Pittman's commercial typewriting so it has cursive writing which is is lovely and I'm going to actually um, do so I'm going to show you how I put the glue on and then put the, um, the tissue on so that's my glue I'm just going to generously put it on this page cover the entire page And I'm just going to grab that and I'm just going to place it in the middle like that. 
now I am going to cover the entire page with glue. If you can see, it's coming through. Can you see the darker parts? Yep, so I'm going to keep going. So I've covered the entire page. Now I won't worry so much about how it's bubbling up or it's creasing. I think that that actually adds dimension to the page. So I'm going to let it dry and I can use this as a background. I can cut it up and use bits and pieces of it, corners of it. Uh, you, if you have a cutter, you can obviously just uh, use your cutter to cut it into different shapes uh, you know if you if you have a heart shape you can certainly do that or just make your own uh, but this is a good way to do a background and as you can see my other one here it's drying well and it looks lovely and you can then start building on this page so this one would actually probably fit in my A6 journal the entire two pages. I might just glue it onto my page like this and then start building different things on it. The other way you could do it is have a look at this. Um, so this was a tissue. Let me just grab it. Or rather a napkin like this. And I've taken the back off. And so what I've done is I just, instead of putting the whole thing on the page, I decided to just have different strips of it or bits of it. So, and I've just glued those things, those parts. And because this has a lot, a, a darker uh, pattern, I'm not particularly worried about um, uh, the words coming through. Uh, I just like that pattern and what I might do is either uh, go ahead and use paint these parts and I haven't really decided uh, so yeah I'll show it to you later but I just wanted to show you the difference of uh, how I've used this and then the other way is obviously to cut it up or put the whole entire tissue on it like this one uh, and these are all I've just cut up only pieces of it and then I might use the page and work around it so as you can see there's different ways of using napkin or yeah it's a it's a napkin really it's not a tissue but it feels like a tissue so anyway uh, uh, thank you guys for watching. I just wanted to show you uh, the process and let's see how it goes when it actually fills my journal. See you again uh, another time in my next video. Bye.